Hi, everybody. I'm Sammy Mansfield, founder of Cancer Wellness for Life, and I hope you enjoyed reading this article about fitness assessments in the chronic disease population. So as health and fitness pros, we know that every single day, individuals are walking in to meet us for the first time or meeting us online for the first time that have chronic conditions that are not only debilitating to them physically, as well as potentially emotionally. So thinking about how we assess these individuals is really critical to building trust, as well as creating an assessment that is meaningful, doesn't necessarily deter them, and drives how we work with them from a fitness professional. So it'll be really important to get to know these individuals first, definitely do your standard assessment, get to know them um, a little bit about maybe their preference communication, a little bit about their chronic disease. But one of the most important things you can do as a professional is understand their why for walking in the door and trying to understand how this may correlate into their life, both in function, maybe body composition or other activities that they enjoy. So I highly encourage you to take things like fitness, uh, body composition, and throw that out the window. Treadmill test, throw that out the window. If you have an individual that's wanting to be able to navigate stairs, maybe a step test is a good start, but perhaps not a three-minute step test. If you have someone that's coming in wanting to lose weight, you can easily take in a baseline assessment without giving them some numbers with body composition. Maybe it's just a picture. Maybe it's something really simple that's going to mean something to them and is a way that you can then create those feedback um, results in a meaningful way as you work with them in the future. In addition, are they wanting to do certain activities? If so, is it getting up and down from a chair, starting that with a box, making sure that you're thinking about where they're comfortable, where you're positioning them, and then how you're communicating these results. Most importantly, understand that just because they have a chronic condition doesn't necessarily mean that they're broken, that they're frail, that they can't actually do standard fitness things. We just maybe need to package and communicate them slightly differently. Have a great time working with these individuals. You are their key to health and longevity. Definitely let us know your comments um, and feedback below, and we look forward to hearing your results.